Yep, there he goes. Happy Easter, everybody. We're going Easter egg hunting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Easter shed hunting, actually, it's a lot better than Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Are you going to find some, Nardis? He's already sniffing for him. <laughs> He's a little nutty, folks. What's a seagull doing out here? There's a seagull? Yeah, it's over there. It's a long ways from home. All right. For our first stop, we're going to walk a whole bunch of this creek bottom here. I don't know if we're going to go that way or if we're going to go that way, but we'll see. No, there's a campfire pit right here. You're good. Nothing special. This would be a good place to drop some antlers, though. Moose poop? Nice. Got some uh, elk here. That's promising. You guys like looking at poop? I do. Elk poop, anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Look at all those goats. There's a lot of them in that group. But it's alright, guys. Winter kill. It's a decent one in the back. I haven't seen the sun in about four months, so drop some sunscreen on and we're gonna catch a little tan, eh, Deke? Yeah. All right, we're gonna walk up this jaw all the way up through there, get on top of one of these hills and glass around a little bit for some sheds. See if we can find some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little snow shower. Yeah, ice baths have been pretty popular these days. Here at Mountain Country Outdoors, we take snow showers. And got the mountain floof. Well, that'll wake you up. Yeah. Hey, bud. We've got... Yeah, give me your paw. Hopefully not an injured floof, but there's a little blood in his tracks. He must have stepped on something, so we're trying to yeah, take a me. look. Give me your paw. And figure Let's out where it's at. It. Try, try the other one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, I think he's okay. We yeah. checked out his paw pretty good. Didn't see anything serious, so... Look at the terrain that we are coming up on right now. Oh, the road goes right there. That's a two-track though, eh? We can get on the four-wheeler and dirt bike, but... Yeah. Oh. Let's climb up here. Yeah. What you doing, Nardis? Right. Finding some sheds, buddy? <laughs> yeah, glass to the right. I didn't see anything. Yeah. Not having too much luck so far. We're thinking there's like not very much snow up here at all. And so we're kind of thinking the elk stayed up high this winter because they didn't get pushed down by snow. And we're kind of in the winter range for this area right now. We're just not seeing a lot of sign, not finding any sheds, um, but having a good time. And it's uh, gorgeous out here, so. As it turned out, this spot had already been hunted pretty heavily, um, and we found that out later when we posted on Instagram. Somebody said, oh, hey, I'm surprised you found one, because we were in there two weeks ago and cleaned that whole place out. So that's why we weren't finding any sheds. At this spot, at least. What are you doing? We uh, are officially successful. It's not much. But it's something, man. All right. Where'd you find that bad boy? Nice. Well, this is looking pretty promising over in here. Oh yeah, that's a giant. <laughs> this little spike. Nice, dude. That thing. Can't strap it to my pack because it's a straight line. Yeah, it's pretty old, but it's still pretty smooth too. Might have dropped real early, but I think the young ones drop a little later. Yeah. It almost looks like a massive front, but you can tell it's just a <laughs> spike. Nice, dude. Big old stick. Let's see if we can find the match for it. Nice. 
Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Boots are like twice as heavy right now. Just caked in mud. But I'm uh, kind of enjoying the workout. Not enjoying not finding any sheds though. It would be cool to find some sheds, but we're learning. You gotta get out here and learn anything you wanna do, hunting, fishing, anything that has to do with the outdoors. You gotta find the areas um, that you don't want to be in, usually before you find the areas that you do wanna be in. So that's what we're doing. More shed hunting adventures to come. There's a deacon. It is steep. Straight up, pretty much. You can't tell, video never does it justice. Apparently we've resorted to rock chucking now. We've resorted to rock chucking. Damn. That was pretty good. It's like a solid hundred yards. I haven't seen Deacon in like five or ten minutes. Last I heard from him, he had to walk over that really big hill. I also didn't hear any screams or anything, so I think he's fine, but I might have to backtrack a little bit just to make sure he hasn't uh, disappeared or been uh, gotten by a wendigo or something. Got some wild deacon tracks. That was a big hill. Let's see. Where's Deacon? Going this way. I bet he went up the cell. You almost got it, Nardis. Hey, come here. Look. You almost got the thing. That is a head. Just not an antler. Very close. Good job. So it's officially turned into a hunt for Deacon. Um, but we both know where the truck's at. Protocol, if we get separated, just meet back at the truck. So I just cut his tracks not that long ago. I think he might have cut down onto the road or something. Hopefully he's not looking for me. I just heard him over this way. We have located his voice. So, all good. Go find Deacon, Nardis. Go get him. Yo! Still trying to find Deacon. That thing's thrashed. The Guided Hunting Journal by Mountain Country Outdoors. Record the memories. Record the locations. The weather. The stories. Record your adventure so that it can last forever. Guided Hunting Journal by Mountain Country Outdoors. For the memories. Basically sledding down this hill right now. Should have my snowboard. So Deacon was hoping I didn't get eaten and I was hoping Deacon didn't get eaten, but neither one of us got eaten, so we're good. Yeah. Just met back at the truck, just like I said. I was like, um, I was like, well, we got separated. Usually we just meet back at the truck and then yeah. we were there, so. Yeah, I couldn't find Dylan after my little adventure, so I just went back to the truck and then. Yeah, he ran on. Calling out my name. Went on a big old hike. All good, all good. Yeah. Gotta heat our burritos somehow. It's either that or build a fire. Let's see if this works first. Can you see the deer? How about now? How about now? Look at all those deer. Hey deer. Where are your sheds? Probably all does. It's kind of hard to tell this time of year. Hey deer. So we had deer tags for this area last year and the one place we didn't go in this area is where we're at right now and we're seeing tons of deer. There's a 
bunch on the road right here. There's like a bunch over there. I mean, there's probably 30 deer just right here. Deacon is up on top of the truck with a spotting scope. I'm trying to check them out. That's okay. That's okay. For round two of shed hunting it's not easter this time so we won't be finding any easter eggs but we might find some elk sheds hopefully we find some elk we found a few mule deer but now it's elk time round two that's probably the last round i don't know if i'm shed hunting anymore yeah. after this we'll see i might hit my secret spot but other than that probably not a little bit of an incline snow is really drifted but it's good very light for me. It is gnarly snowy up here. We're riding on top of the snow drifts, but we had to leave Deacon down this hill so because the four-wheeler was too heavy, so he's down there somewhere. We'll wait for him. Hi, Deke. Looks like Sasquatch. That way? Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> there. Come. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, the snow's about knee deep. <laughs> yeah, on like Deacon, that's probably most of your guys' noses. Yeah. I gotta walk like this so I can spread my weight to get out of the forest. <laughs> something dead damn that's pretty cool they hold fur for yeah you think that was this year well dude I don't know who killed an elk up here this year is it called some elky legs All right, we did a few miles. Yeah. No sheds, walking in other people's footprints. It's crazy how many people come out shed hunting. But we found a nice sledding hill. Found an arrow. Oh yeah? yeah. Uh oh, somebody missed. All right, so we went up the mountain, uh, rode the four-wheeler through some pretty sketchy stuff, yep. and didn't find any sheds, just other footprints from humans, <laughs> people who have already been there, just like the last place we checked. So I don't know if there's an area in this state that hasn't already been shed hunted, but we're gonna try one more spot. There, getting some Gar mountain house going, meals, some food. gourmet food. This guy's got something dead. Looks tasty. Just picking up dead stuff. I think Deacon found a prairie dog. Now he's probably going to get the plague. Look at that hawk, dude. <laughs> Is that the prairie dog I shot earlier? Probably. <laughs> I picked up a bunch of trash. Oh, good. We pick up trash here. Yeah. Good point. Well, there's no sheds here, believe it or not. So, nice matching set of jawbone. Any ivories? Most of the bottoms. Oh, yeah. Where's the tops? And back to the four wheeler we go. And then back to the truck. Now it's always good to get out here, and now we know more. So we can put it in a journal and not ever shut up here again because there's no sheds. Deacon held out for one more little circle. Doesn't look like he found anything else. I'm back at the wheeler. We're getting out of here. Uh, fun day. Tiring, cold. Go. Oh, 
about some elk. There's Dylan and the floofster. Hey guys, Dylan here. Dylan's on the board. Like oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. A little forky. Oh. Nice. Nice job, buddy. Yeah. Look at this Like, oh, so many vertical feet. It's a little dark cold down here at least. But I'm not really upset about the hiking. Just a little bit pooped. <laughs> I think Narnus. Alright, Deke's got another one. Is that nice? Yeah, it's kind of a cliff. Think Nardis can make it down over there? The mountain dog. Jeez Louise. All right, we are back in the truck right now, back in town actually. We're gonna eat some food. Um, decent shed hunt. Uh, no elk sheds, but we got mule deer. Uh, found two deadheads in a shed. So, fortunately, you can't take out the deadheads without doing a bunch of BS first, so. Had to leave those behind, but uh, now we're going to eat and go black bear hunting. Because we just do things on a whim here at Mountain Country Outdoors. If we actually shoot a black bear, I'll be really surprised. Yeah. <laughs> 